just wanted to make this real quick <clears throat> to express in this kind of manifestation and appreciation a reverberation felt connection with the heart of the skylark This lovely lady's channel is Danny Skylark, and if you want your heart to be soothed with the vibrations of someone who's gone through the shit and brought themselves up out of it and are now sharing and connecting more and more. Which, I mean, it's just another reflection of myself, too. It's also why I connect so, so much with a lot of the things that you say, Danny, is, is a lot of uh, similar experiences and similar feelings, similar pathways in our uh, gnosis and understandings. But I just watched the most recent two that you put up, and oh man, <laughs> that that got to me. The, the most previous one, uh, yeah, that some some soothing liquids came out came out the eyes for sure into the heart very healing the healing balm the liquidations So yes, th thank you for sharing what you did, for sharing what you do, for sharing who you are, for encouraging us to do the same. And that's what really got me is because I um, am, so am someone who, um, from the very moment of creation, uh, with, with this vessel at least, I was born into a vessel of uh, suppression and brought up in a family of suppression and experiences of suppression. And that, that was my path and is still to this day uh, to, to a degree. Not, not as much as what it used to be, but... For sure, big time. Uh, it still is, and I'm able to see with a little bit more clarity why some things are necessary that we may not understand as we're going through them, but later on we're able to see, you know, with that 2020 hindsight and realize uh, the lessons that life was trying to show us. God, or whatever you want to use, whatever term. very much uh, liken myself to, to a turtle <laughs> that uh, goes back into its shell where it's comfortable and quote unquote safe where, where the turtle feels protected and is protected somewhat to a degree until that 
thing happens that shatters your protection and your ideologies of what you uh, thought you could hold on to, but then you enter that free fall and you, you learn to either swim or you, you find a new attachment to hold on to. So that's kind of, I feel like what a lot of us are learning to do is just to swim inside ourselves, inside ourselves, swim in life more and more fluidity. <clears throat> so Danny talked a little bit about her experiences and um, the job that she had with the hospice and CNS and uh, her experiences in witnessing people dying and what that was like and it made me uh, reflect of course on my life experiences and I I haven't been around a person that, that died but uh, let's see how much I want to share yeah uh, it's just gonna melt me right now if I share too much, which I mean is good and fine, and everything has its time and appropriateness and place. Um, the thing is, we have, it's perspective. We have to be aware of uh, of the times to emit. And it's not about uh, the mentality of uh, what time is. It's about a a space within this concept of time to where uh, the heart aligns, and we are able to be as vulnerable as we need to be to to get that healing, to get in there, to access that healing. And for a lot of people, it's going to be like a breakdown because they've built up so many layers around their heart that whenever they finally are able to feel that again, to, to go past the layers and feel into the heart, it is it is a breakdown and you, you need to have that release. I'm a huge advocate of allowing yourself to release and how I recommend to do it is through meditation, I mean everything is a meditation but this kind of meditation is probably the most healing um, experience that, that I have experienced in my life. Because of the dissolving of the layers that happens, and what I what I do, where I place myself for this to happen is it's, it's usually nighttime, and I will be uh, in a secluded area out in nature, away from as many people as I can be, away from uh, as much frequency as I can be. To where I'm able to just feel nature, listen, and connect. Connect outside of me, connect inside of me, and just breathe and let be and feel. And then I go into very deep meditation, and I I remember, I remember what is real and true. 
and eventually that brings me back to the heart. And through that I within the heart, I'm able to see what I've been doing to myself. What I previously was not able to see because I was caught up in the bullshit. I was tripping on the BS. And whenever we do that, we are unconsciously stacking layer upon layer over our hearts. So whenever I'm able to see what I've been doing, not just me, like it's, it's a collective thing as well. I'm able to be, see more clearly what we are all doing and feel all of it. Then I'm able to just really release and heal in whatever form that needs to manifest and just allow it to happen. And your whole beingness will re-enliven your body and your your senses will, will clear. These these fluids, whenever we break down like this, they they clear the nasal passage, the the tears, you know, they're salty, right? They the salt goes into the nasal and the eye ducts and into the brain and the temples and it clears, it helps clear our perception, re in our senses. It's like a restart, starting fresh. The, the purpose, reigniting our pure position within the heart. So yeah, I was overdue for a cry, and I thank you, Danny, for helping me with that, <laughs> guiding me back into the heart. Whew. Life and death. Funny thing, when you think about it, how all of us are constantly living in some moments and then dying in other moments and aspects of ourselves are always being let go of dying and being embraced or born. Yes, we have a you know, born date, and for most people, inevitably, a date of death of the body. But just, just remember that we're constantly parts of ourselves, aspects of ourselves, constantly living and dying because we're letting go. We, we're distilling, defining what we really want to engage, what it, what it truly means to be alive, to bring your spirit to life within the body, within all little parts of your body. Reignite that flame <laughs> I find myself massaging my chest a lot lately. Almost like prying on both sides, gently massaging, allowing it to open. as it's ready to. Because what matters of the heart is nothing can be forced. You have to feel it and just allow it, feel into it.
So continue to feel into your lives, feel into your hearts, no matter what kind of a situation you may find yourself in in life. If you find yourself to be in a situation where you feel trapped or suppressed, try to realize there's always a way out, there's always a way in. There's always a death that can happen in, as in a letting go of, and then a rebirth and a renewal that can happen. <laughs> so yes, let's continue to feel and share, and it doesn't have to always be through words. You can just, the simple gazes that you give people, the gazes that come from the heart, and you're not engaging the mind that much, you're just looking into their eyes and smiling through your heart, that the smile in your eyes will light people up, especially little kids, and constantly meeting and greeting uh, people, as well as uh, all kinds of different ages of people. Some of them are very young, and they they see me, and I have an appearance that may look uh, intense. I often have a gaze that is, is pretty intense, but whenever I look into a child's eyes, all I can just all I can do is smile and feel, and it's it's much like uh, with an animal or. or Especially a dog, because it's very dependent upon the the owner of the of the animal or dog and how they have treated it and uh, probably not really trained it at all, but just treated or mistreated and. Whenever that connection happens, uh, a stillness, you, 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 <laughs> you feel this profound stillness happen, and then they just light up, <laughs> and it's so beautiful to, to experience. <sighs> the heart being expressed through the eyes, it's very magical. So yeah, thank you, Danny. Thank you, uh, everyone that has helped me learn and grow. And it, it really boggles my mind that, that anyone listens to me. <laughs> and that anyone, that people get something uh, because of, just just because of my upbringing, like and not being listened to at all and that's still a huge trauma in my life is that, that little child still needs to be uh, completely healed and within so uh, all of you are helping me with that 
So shout out to you all, and shout out to the one love that connects us all. Peace.